Good morning friends. I am S. Yes, Hariharan, Head PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Roman Thirchangur. In this video, we are going to discuss about Fourier series. Fourier series is one of the important application of integration. In this video, we are going to discuss the following topics like Fourier series, Fourier coefficients and Dirichlet conditions one by one. The very first one, what is mean by periodic function? A function f is set to periodic if there exists a smallest positive number capital T such that f of x plus t equal to f of x for all x in the domain. So this is the example when period equal to 2 pi and we have the curve minus 4 pi to plus 4 pi. So introduction, let f be a periodic function of period t. It can be proved that f can be expressed as the sum of an infinite number of sine and or cosine functions that is s into f of t equal to a naught divided by 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos 2 n pi t divided by t plus b n into sin 2 n into pi t divided by t. This infinite sum is known as a Fourier series. Next one, the coefficients a0, a n and b n where n equal to 1, 2 etc. are known as Fourier coefficients. They can be obtained by a0 equal to 2 divided by t integral 0 to t f of t into dt. a n equal to 2 divided by t into integral 0 to t f of t into cos 2 n pi t divided by t into dt and b n equal to 2 divided by t into integral 0 to t f of t into sin 2 n pi t divided by t into dt. Next one, convergence and sum of a Fourier series. Not all periodic functions defined over any type of interval can be represented by Fourier series. That is, for a function defined over an interval to be represented by Fourier series, it must satisfy certain conditions known as Dirichlet conditions. What are the Dirichlet conditions? f must be well defined at every x in the interval. f must be continuous or have a finite number of finite discontinuities within the interval. f dash must be continuous or piecewise continuous within the interval. These three are called Dirichlet conditions. Next one, value of the Fourier series at a point of continuity. If f satisfies Dirichlet conditions and let s be the Fourier series of f at x equal to a, if f is continuous at a, then s into f of a equal to f of a. Next one, value of the Fourier series at a point of discontinuity. If f is discontinuous at a, then let f of a bar and f of a bar and f of a power plus b the left and right limits respectively then the value of the Fourier series at x equal to a is s into f of a equal to f of a bar plus f of a power plus whole term divided by 2. Thank you.